what's up guys welcome back to code with Clinton. so in this video i'm going to show you how to migrate data from xqlite 3 to postgres database so without further ado we are getting started right now so first of all go down to your browser and search for just search for download postgres so after you've done that click on this first link it will be brought down to this particular page here so on this page i want to download and install postgres on our computer if you don't have it already installed so now you're going to pick your operating system for which you want to the operating system you use on your computer you understand so i'm using windows i'm going to pick windows so click on windows so after you've done that you can see this link on top download the installer so you click on it so just click on the download the installer icon the link rather okay so now it is on this page you can pick the exact installer for your computer you understand so if you're using a windows 32-bit computer you're going to pick the ones on the last row on the last colon if you're using a 64-bit windows computer you're going to use the one on the second to the last row the same thing applies for the mac computers and linux computers so after you've done all this just follow the installation process it's pretty simple and doing installation you'll be asked to input a password so do well to remember the password so after you've installed postgres you just go down to the browser again and look for pg admin just search for just search for download download pg admin download pg admin you look up this on the internet and download it just click on the download button and follow the installation process and do that so pg admin is simply a graphical user inter interface that is used to manage the postgres database that's what pg admin is so after you've done all this you come back to your code now you can see um, i have a project this is a project right here i'm going to show you what it looks like so this project now we are currently running on xqlite 3 database but i want to shift my data from xqlite 3 to postgres so how will i go about that so coming here to the settings.pyfy you scroll down to this point you will see where we have databases i don't want to use this database called xqlite 3 because this database is meant for development purpose well also if you want to go to production level you're going to change your database from XQ, xqlite 3 to something more product production level like a something like my xql postgresql oracle and the rest but for me i'm going to be using postgres in this tutorial so now i'm going to show you how to migrate your data from sqlite 3 to postgres so we are getting so we're starting right now okay so now we want to do away with this database we have here so before we do that we need to have a duplicate of this database and we are going to have that in json format so just run this code at the bottom python Or am I doing Python manage dot spy dump data with this symbol and we are going to call this file data dot json dot json so you run this command so just just run so you can see on on the left hand side I have a file called data dot json so now now that we've done this already so now we're going to open pg admin but before, before I proceed to PG admin, this data.json has the contents of this XQLite 3 database. It has all the contents inside of it. So now let's go down to our Postgres to start doing some more work. Okay, so now to open PG admin, go down to your start button. You find this elephant symbol. Just click on it as a PG admin logo. You understand? So now I have mine opened already. And you can see I am required to input a password before I can get in to the postgres database so i tell you i tell you that's why you are installing postgres you'll be asked to input a password so make sure you don't forget the password because that way you're going to input into pg admin so you can have access to the postgres database so now my is this so don't forget your password while installing postgres because we'll be asked to input a password a password at some point you understand so okay now i've gained access to my postgres database pg admin is simply a user interface to use postgres you understand so now you can see just here you can see we have the servers so it's kind of loading gonna give me some time to load 
okay so the server is opened now i have some i have i created a server for my own personal project called e-commerce but now i'm going to create a new server for this tutorial so just right click click on create server so i'm going to create a new server and i'm going to call this server tutorial tutorial okay tutorial and after that you're gonna add some click on connection so now we're gonna so you can see it's asking for a host we are gonna add local host because you are still on development level add local host the port is 5432 the username is postgres and the password just give it the password you're gonna impute the password you were asked to impute when while installing postgres so I have to, I said, we must make sure you don't forget that password. So we're going to input the password here. Let me make sure I'm imputing the correct stuff. Okay, that done. You can click on save. So now we've created a server called tutorial. So open this server called tutorial. We have a database inside of the tutorial. So now open. Now I'm going to create a new database. I'm going to call this database. I'm going to call it blog let's call it blog because you're working with the blog over here it's something like a blog i'm going to call it database blog so let's do that right now so right click on databases click on create and database so just call it blog that's the name of your database so save okay it's quite taking quite some time okay that done already if you click if you watch closely we have a database called blog that's it now so now go down to your settings.pyfy now we are going to now we will simply copy this ctrl c and i'm going to comment it comment it out now so now it's time for us to change from sqli3 to postgres so now you can see we have this engine here so you're going to change you're going to remove sqli3 and put postgres there postgres postgres ql so now name of our database is called blog if you remember name of our database i'm going to show you that to be sure you can see databases we created this we, we created a database called blog i have some other i have some other database down there you can see we have cms we have ecom we have postgres we are, we are working with the one called blog so now what's your browser name our name of our database is called blog so don't forget so now we're gonna we're gonna impute more details so we are going to put user and our user is called postgres yeah postgres so now i'm going to show you where it comes from so you know we created a server called tutorial so click on this server so after you've clicked on the server called tutorial so now i'll show you where the username comes from so click on properties if you scroll down you can see where the username comes from postgres so that's the more for the user as the username so username i'm gonna call it postgres so also be asked to impute our password and i told you that you must not forget this password during the installation of postgres so the password we are going to also impute that password for me i called my database mm, you're gonna also impute the port number and this is where we got the port number from so you find out now so just look click on the tutorial server again the one we created so you can see the port number at the bottom here 5432 so now we're gonna put in the port number p o r t and 5432 5432 and we're gonna include the hosts and we are working with local hosts so i'm gonna show where that comes from if you watch closely from our postgres you can see oh sorry for that so you can see the hosts local hosts so local hosts so now we've connected to the postgres database we are not done yet so now we need to connect this postgres database to our django project so what are we going to do so i'm going to install a new a, we are going to install a python package called cycle pg2 
just run the command pip install psycho pg2 and run click on enter run this command so it's going to get installed on your pc right now okay so once you have the package installed so just come down to the engine and add the package to the database name so underscore psycho pg2 so this this package helps to connect our Django project to the Postgres database finish that's what it does so save your work now so after you save your work so what, so what you want to do now is you want to run a command and this command helps to create it helps to create tables for our apps for our installed apps it helps to create tables for the installed applications so now just run this command python manage the spy migrate we're gonna put dash dash run dash sync db and why before we before we run this command make sure your utf is utf8 some of you have utf utf16 so make sure you are, you are on utf8 you understand so so to avoid errors you understand so run this command now so we're gonna run so the command should be running by now okay so i ran the command and i ran into this error and this is the cause of the error yeah this is not called username it is called user sorry for the mistake it's called user so just save your work now and let's let's create the tables now for the installed app so you want this command called python manage.py migrate i'm gonna put dash dash run dash sync db so this is a command so press enter so I think everything should work fine now. Okay, you can see it working. We are creating the tables for the installed application for the installed apps in our Django project. So after you've done that now, I'm gonna run this command now. What so here's a command Python. So now want to now so what we want to now what we want to do now is I want to take the data we have in data.json, want to now throw it into the database, and I want to like put push it into the database we've created the postgres database so this is the command here I'm gonna run python manage.py load data i'm gonna call the data is called the, the data file is called data.json so data.json so enter so let's see you can see it works so now run server let's run server python manage.py run server okay so you can see now we are, no, we, are no, we are no longer using the sqlite 3 it, is, it has been commented we are now working with postgres so you go down to the browser now refresh the page so refresh the page now let's see it's loading you can see we have our data intact go back to the home page where you're coming from our data are still intact nothing was lost now we are, we are now on the postgres database so if i go down to pg admin pg admin open the blog database so just scroll down to where we have schemas so schemas scroll down a bit you're gonna see tables open tables so now you can see the tables we have in our django projects the cms app the profile table you can see everything so everything is working excellently well so that's it for this project that's, that's it for this video so you've learned how to migrate data from xql xqlite 3 to postgres ql so I, I really hope you enjoyed the video so we'll see you in the next video stay blessed and bye bye